morning everybody it's the Brummie mechanic here um, okay so my last video we were talking about a misfire issue on a AWX 190 TDI PD 130 and although I've done several tests I wasn't expecting the outcome of this uh, issue to be honest it surprised me a little bit the issue feels like a fueling issue like it's one of the injectors is dropping out or electrically dropping out maybe a, a, a pressure issue it, it feels like a fueling issue now this car now is idling perfectly I've, dri I've done approximately 100 miles maybe 120 miles since I've done this repair I'm about to tell you about and without hiccup not a single misfire not a single hiccup not a, it hasn't cut out once no lights on the dash it drives like it did three or four months ago and it, it's perfect absolutely perfect now what I did when I had the mani the uh, not the management light the glow plug light come on I thought brilliant I've got I've actually got some fault codes now so I plugged it in yesterday afternoon and I figured out that there was a code in there for P0321 which is a speed sensor vehicle speed sensor um, and P0605 which I was more concerned about because that code is to do with uh, an EEPROM error internally in the ECU a compatibility issue I thought oh great the uh, ECU has decided to fry itself but the car still ran it just ran really really rubbish and I had this blinking uh, glow plug light on the dash so anyway the other code uh, related to the crank sensor uh, so I checked it ohms resistance through it was 670 690 ohms um, just as the sensor just unplugged uh, couldn't really I plugged it in and, and checked the RPMs and stuff and it was sat at 882 RPMs with the computer but I couldn't really do much more than that than just think well it's cheaper to buy a crank sensor than it is to buy a new ECU and have it coded so I went for the crank sensor option and it's cured it I threw it in just to just to check to see if it was uh, the issue and if it was cure, if it would cure it and for the sake of 30 quid I'm pretty confident that it's cured it I've had no lights and I've had no issues at all for the past 100 miles so if you get codes P0321 that relates to vehicle speed sensor on some uh, diagnostic machine that you may come up with the actual wording like crank sensor crank position sensor CKP or um, you know engine speed sensor or something like that but my particular diagnostic system it said vehicle speed which to me says ABS but it, it's not it's related to the crank sensor P0321 um, the other one which hasn't returned and I think it was just the fact that the crank sensor may may have been spiking the signals back to the ECU and the ECU just thought well that's not right I'm just going to flag up a fault for to say that I'm ruined as well uh, and that was P0605 um, and that was an internal EEPROM error for the ECU uh, basically I went for the cheaper option and, and in this case it's cured it and, and I'm, I'm really really happy I'm really chuffed to bits that it's cured it the, the test that I did on the crank sensor for the resistance from reading on the internet and speaking to our technical department they think somewhere between 500 and 1000 ohms is is a good sensor anywhere out of those parameters it's mm, it's logical that the sensor's scrap but the issue that I've got is it was so intermittent I couldn't prove whether it was a sensor or not which is why I guessed at a sensor um, for the sake of 30 quid anyway I hope you have a lovely day 
I've been the Brummie mechanic and there you go car fixed sorted I hope this helps you out with your misfiring issues definitely go for the cheapest option first goodbye